What's up guys? I'm back off the tug and you already know I'm back on it. Look at this. We got crabs and a piro. And I'm out here at one of my favorite spots to fish. But we're doing something that I've never done before. We're crabbing with just chicken on a string. Uh, we're actually done right now and we killed it it was amazing i'm going to show you how to do it it's the cheapest way you can go catch crabs all you need is a simple net we got three different kinds here if you fish you got a net in your garage we got some pipes some string and about five bucks worth of chicken but i've hit a year mark on my channel and i'm going to do a little giveaway for you guys so what i want you to do on this video is comment how many crabs you think we got. And I'm gonna show you real quick what we got here. And uh, at the end of the video, whoever comments the number of crabs first in sequential order, I'm gonna send them a crab trap from Wishard Wire, um, a shirt and a bunch of merch and stuff. And, uh, but I'm just gonna quit talking. I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> Watch this, you guys. So mad. <laughs> How many do you think I got in there? You gotta guess. I knew it. So we have our mothership, which is my <laughs> Piro. Got all our stuff in it, um, helps out. We got away from the crowds a little bit right there. But I just had this PVC lying around, didn't cost me a dime. Um, I drilled a little hole up top and I cut the ends on an angle. And then I'm just putting in the mud here. We're coming out about the waist. Find some good bottom. This one's longer, I can put it out a little farther. Work it back and forth. Right there. And then we'll probably start with four lines. I don't know, maybe five. Uh, and we've got some chicken legs. We paid five dollars and 41 cents at aldi thank you aldi i had string right um <clears throat> but i did buy some yellow string because i wanted you guys to be able to see the string in the video and i was worried the black wouldn't show up uh but that was six bucks um like i said i had the pvc and i already had these nets um i'm sure you've got some sort of landing net at your house but just going on how economical this type of crabbing is what I'm tying is just a uni knot if you're familiar with uni knots and then I'm gonna take that little chunk right there and cinch it down tight on my chicken so the like, crabs can't get that off no theoretically <laughs> uh, Let's hope. I'll be honest, I haven't done this type of crab and I've watched these guys do it thousands and thousands of times as this is one of my favorite places to fish, but uh, I haven't done it. And I've always, every single time I've come by, I've always been like, man, I want to go do that. There's so, a lot of people out here doing it. Oh, and this is like a slow day. I've seen them, I mean, down that way, all the way around to the other end of the lake. So we'll throw our chicken out. That's as far as you have to go? No, I don't think you need it to go far at all. Oh. And then we're gonna tie, where's my hole? Ooh, there's a hole right there, right there. I just stepped in. <laughs> yeah. Crystal is scared I'm to death. I'm terrified right now. Because there are a couple of alligators in a here. A couple? Last time I checked, they said there was three, so it's not like that scary. What do you mean they said there was three? Yeah, there was a count. When did they do that? They do know. that? Yeah, but there's art, babe. There's literally already a blue crab on this. Watch this. Lies. I swear, should I, I can get the net? feel them. 
Yeah, maybe get it. <laughs> okay. Like, I <laughs> Let me grab the net. The Crab Catcher 1000. I mean, hurry up. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> He's on there. He's running with right now. <laughs> I mean, y'all, you it's see this? Pulling tight. It's like 30 seconds. 30 seconds, not even. Oh, he's on there, babe. He's on there. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just he just swam away. Did he? Yeah. No, you okay. don't want to stick the net down in oh, the water. You scared him. Sorry. Okay. Hold on. He's got it again. It's he's got fault. it again. He's got it again. Look at him. Look at him taking line. Look That's at him taking crazy. line. Real slow. All right, go, go, go. Did I get him? You, I got him. You see it, folks. You see it. How fast was that? We only, we literally got one line in and got a big old crab. That's amazing. I'm putting him in the basket. High five. It's Oops, working. Yeah. All right, we got to turn the camera off and get this going. Yeah. But like you saw it, he was literally running with the chicken. This is amazing. Are we just going to like fill the basket? Is that the goal? Yes. The goal is to fill that basket to the top. And what, how, what are we going to do? We're going to eat them. How? With our hands. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. Camera lady, I'm moving. Here, I got, put the camera on me. I got crab cam on. <laughs> so, we can't even get the lines out. We only have four. Four, right and there's now. a crab pulling on every pipe right now. <laughs> I'm going to get one. I'm going to put, I got the crab cam on. With the crab catcher 1000. Look at that one's pulling hard over there. That must be a big one. I mean, he's literally trying to pull the pipe over. Maybe we should just do the this last one. I feel like I could just troll chicken legs here. Troll chicken legs? Yeah. Like they. Crab cam! I mean, they're getting onto there so fast. I mean, it's literally. 30 seconds and you got another crab. That's a littler one, but. Well, we can, we can always, uh, He's only got one claw. Let's see, we got another one. Crab cam. Oh, yeah. Oh, babe, I got a two for one. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go dump them in the bucket. We got our shrimp basket weighted down so the crabs stay alive. All right, we've got six lines out right now, and I'm pretty sure there's a crab on every single one. Uh, I'm gonna go and see what we got here. Clip the GoPro on the net. Gonna go like this, get our net ready. Now, I hope this worked. I specifically <laughs> bought yellow line just for you guys. But you see that? Can you, I hope, I really hope you can see he is pulling on that yellow line. No tension. He's pulling on the pipe. Let's see if we can get him. One-handed. Oh, it feels like a big one. Feels like a big one. Oh, we got a jumbo, jumbo crab. Okay, I found something really cool. Check it out. It's a jellyfish. That thing will mess you up. Look at how pretty it is. Look at this, it's got a little chicken holder right here. <laughs> Put your chicken in. I'm trying to film the jelly. Jellyfish are immortal, did you know that? There's literally a crab on every single string we have. This is insane. Oh, another double crab! Did you get on camera? Yeah. Gotta have it on camera, it didn't happen. I got it on camera, it happened. Here we go. Oh, another double crab! Get on camera? Yeah. Gotta have it on camera, it didn't happen. I got it on camera, it happened. Alright, so we're down to one GoPro. The one GoPro isn't coming on. We've got six out, which honestly... It's going back. 
it's going backwards is more than we can handle right now. We're literally pretty much just shrimping these three. Look at, Look at him. He's, he's running. He's himself around them. He's running. We gotta be quiet. Why? They can, hear. they can hear us. I don't think they can. They can hear us. Can. Get that crab, babe. Crystal's always been really good at catching crabs. She said it's back the in the day, queen. they called her the crab queen. Oh. That is not true. You know, he's a little guy. Yeah. But look how fast they're funny. eating the chicken. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All right. I'm going to go. i catch crabs. I know. And I'm also <laughs> trying to make a YouTube video. If you forgot the reason we're here. It's, it's for the crabs too. This is, I can't believe that I've been coming to this place for 15 years and I haven't done this. It's amazing. The sun is coming up and the crabbing has definitely slowed down. We got about three quarters of a basket right now. I don't even think it's nine o'clock in the morning, if that. Crystal's doing the crab dance. <laughs> folks headed out fishing there I think we're we're close to what we need for a family meal how many will we have in that basket Harold's family is family we're trying to leave we're trying to leave, <laughs> trying to leave. let's see if I can get this one okay. Oh, you almost lost that it. That was a twofer. Oh, nice. A twofer. <laughs> On the way out, too. And we're trying to leave. <laughs> we can't stop. I want to show you guys. Those were Mondas, too. Nice. Um, so just real quick, this is the setup here. It's literally one of my surf spikes. I made a couple and then a piece of just regular yellow twine and... A piece of chicken anybody can do this man anyone that has some PVC pipe some string and enough money to buy some chicken legs oh and a net a landing net any net will work that you got uh, come out here go to a bayou near you a marsh an estuary someplace where it's shallow and uh, go catch you some blue crabs I know that Bianca is gonna be jealous she didn't wake up this morning because <laughs> she, she would have loved this look at this crab not only does he have a regrowth coming in, but his other claw oh, yeah. has been chopped off. I'm trying to get him in the sun. And he's still living. And he's still living. He's adapted to losing the points of his claw. And he's got a regrowth. I'm going to let him go. Do it. Because he has had a rough life and he's still living. So he's going to go over here go ahead boss live your best life all right headed to home crab bars <laughs> now i do want to talk about something real quick when we were walking in we noticed there was a ton of trash up on the shore here and that's a really really just junky thing man so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it better than we found it and pick up some of this trash over here. If you guys come out, don't do this, man. Don't do this. That's tr trashy. You're a horrible individual. Hello. How you guys do? Yeah, Yeah. Whole basket. Really? Yeah. It's how big? They're all mixed hot out and we're getting ready to clean those crabs up because Harold and his family are going to come over and help us eat them tonight but first I want to take a second and show you who is sponsoring this video Aloha Pest and Lawn reached out to me I filmed so much in my yard cleaning fish and things like that and they said hey man we noticed your yard isn't up to snuff and uh, <laughs> they came out got me fixed up my grass is super green everything's happy and uh, you guys check them out. They're in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'll have their number and uh, contact in the description. All right, y'all, so the big question is, how many crabs do I have in this cooler? Wouldn't you like to know? 
I will announce the winner of the contest in the next week's video. This video is going to come out on Sunday. The Sunday after is where I'll announce the winner. Um, and like I said before, the contest is the first person to guess the correct amount of crabs that we caught today. So if you're the second person, but you got the same number, you don't win. First person. We're set up. We got our little uh, whatever. Hose. You know, I'm betting there's probably four or 500 crabs in there. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna get to getting, it's hot. I'm already sweating. It's raining. <laughs> 438, 439. <laughs> if you went crabbing this morning and you live in Florida, the best thing to get when you get home in Hungary is a pub sub. And if you're really a Florida man, Crystal's I'm waiting to eat. looking pretty for the camera, <laughs> you get the chicken tender. So, Crystal got me this sub. I don't know why she didn't no, get two. Didn't. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It's not for us to share. <laughs> but, pub I, sub. I did buffalo chicken. Drop, drop me a comment if pub subs are the best subs in the world. So, we got our crabs. We got our steaming pot. Ooh, that's hot. That's 50% apple cider vinegar and 50% water. Somebody said that in my last video. They're like, you ought to put vinegar in there. I'm like, I do, man. But we got our cleaned up crabs. <clears throat> We're gonna start uh, layering those things into there. Just like we always do. And uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to fit all these crabs in uh, this one steaming pot. Look at all those crabs. Don't be trying to count now. Y'all can't count all them crabs. Are you gonna eat crabs? How, how many do you think's in there? Uh, 40. 40? 40. Well, we'll let you know. Ooh, that's a good guess. I counted them this afternoon. Probably 80. Probably 80? You just yeah. doubled your number, dude. Probably 80. Well, Crystal wants me to film her, but I'm trying to eat crabs. Clear out of the shell. Marlin like, is trying to get a freebie. That ain't happening. What are you eating? Chicken wings. Chicken wings? We got all these crabs right here. Got some of that lump over here. Yeah. I'll do one for the camera. I'll do one for the camera. Alright, do the other side. Okay, ready? How do I do yeah. this, Ian? Oh no. Oh uh, no, see you're filming now. I messed up. Everybody does it a little different. That's not how I Show me, Ian. Oh. Well, we gotta turn it around. <laughs> the best thing in the world is public chocolate Publix chocolate chip cookies. My favorite dessert. <laughs> well dogs. You don't have to get all in my face. <laughs> Push the button, quit being goofy. <laughs> Oh, oh, we had a breaker. <laughs> um, what I'm doing right now is picking crab claw meat. When we eat crab claw, or when we eat blue crabs, many times Crystal doesn't eat a whole lot of the claws. And sometimes I will put my claws in a pile with hers. Um, and we'll make something with it the next day. And that's really like what I wanted to do for you guys. I've steamed crabs a bunch for you. But I'm using my toadfish... Um, crab cleaning set to pick this meat out and i'm gonna go over one just real quick with you guys i'm gonna make some uh crab dip i've never really made that but uh it i've had it i know it tastes good i'm gonna see if i can make it taste good but so what i did there was break the two pieces apart then i've got the claw and i take those uh claw crackers from toadfish amazing i i've never found a better cracker. Break off that little knuckly piece right there and then come right down at the base where the where the pincher is and just just enough to where it feels like it cracks. And then you wiggle it 
and pull, wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull, and no meat in there. And then you got all that meat on there. If you were just eating them, this would be your little lollipop. But since I'm gonna make dip, I'm just pulling the meat off in a little pile over here. Um, and that'll be perfect just to make a little dip for tonight. And we have some shrimp to eat, but that's gonna be another video. All right, I am gonna make smoked Gouda crab dip. I've never made this before because I literally just made it up out of what was inside of our refrigerator. Um, I've got some whipped cream cheese. We'll start out with that. It's maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to match the amount of crab I have there. Call that a half a cup there. Um, and then some sour cream, probably an equal amount, maybe a little bit less. We'll just see how it's mixing up there. Um, then we'll do that. Then we'll put a little bit of mayo. You know it's gotta be Dukes. Mm -hmm. It's better than any mayo in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone says. I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of that. Um, and then we have our crab boil mix, which just says Old Bay, but it actually has a little bit of J.O.'s mixed in with it. It's just left over from last night. Just eyeballing that amount until it looks like it's good. A little bit of paprika. Give it some color. Um, then garlic powder, of course. Garlic powder <laughs> makes everything better. Just a touch of onion powder. Sounds good to me. Like that. A shake of soy sauce. My soy sauce. I wanted to put Worcestershire sauce, but we're out. And uh, uh -huh. it just felt good. Hmm. And then I'm gonna do, I've got this fresh, <laughs> fresh grated uh, smoked Gouda. And I'm gonna put most of it in there, but leave a little bit for topping. Yeah. And I'm just gonna mix all this together. See what, what I about get. Parmesan cheese, or no? Parmesan would be good, but I think I think we're good with this amount Just of the Gouda? ingredients. It will be Gouda. <laughs> so mix that all up, and then I'm gonna fold this crab meat in there. Yeah. And when I do that, I kind of want to just like just real lightly fold it all in here so I don't break it up real bad. It's like the clumpy claw meat, right? Yeah. I'm gonna keep some of those lumps in there. There we go. At first, for a second there, I was feeling like maybe I didn't have enough ingredients and I was messing up on camera. I don't know, I think it looks good. But it's looking pretty amazing it right now. Really good. I know, I think that it would be good to eat just like that would be but I think with some so crackers. then I've got a little I think the name for that is maybe a ramekin uh, maybe. I don't know it's fiesta wear oh it's fiesta wear mm -hmm. but I like <laughs> um, I usually use them for like broiling things and that's what we're well we're gonna do this at 400 degrees mm -hmm. um, in the oven on convection bake. You don't have to use convection bake, I got it. So I'm gonna use it. Uh, so, boom. Then we'll take the rest of that smoked Gouda, mm -hmm. put that all on the top, like so. Feeling pretty fancy right now. Like yeah. I just made something really amazing. You maybe did. Um, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit more of that Old Bay mixture on there, like so, and popping it in the oven. How long? I'll give it 10 minutes, but basically until it's bubbly. Mm, okay. Was 10 minutes long enough? Yeah, I did, well, no, I did five and then three, and right now I'm just broiling it, trying to get it Bubbly, ooey yeah. gooey, browned and delicious, oh, yeah. which is happening right as we speak. I'm so excited. 
Are we gonna eat it with Tostinos? Um, yeah, we're gonna eat it with Tostinos because we have Tostinos and we don't really have anything else, so. Crackers, we have club crackers. We have club crackers. We still got some smoked fish dip, we could eat that too, and then we've got some shrimp that are just soaking, I boiled them. It's a different video. That's a different video though. <laughs> and we're not gonna, it's not gonna be boiled shrimp, it'll be a really, really good recipe you guys don't know about yet. Super secret recipe. <clears throat> but uh, I'm trying to do one video a week, 11 a.m. on Sundays. So I can't just release them quick because I still got a regular job, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I got to have content to put out while I'm on the tugboat. Okay, it's time. Here we go. The moment of truth. Dun, Ooh. dun, dun. It looks so hot. I'm super scared of uh, burning myself. Yeah, please don't. But maybe we let that cool down for a minute. Yes. But I think it's gonna be delicious. Agreed. It smells delicious. We are at the table. All right, y'all. I've already been eating the shrimp. <laughs> it's that time of this video. I'm grubbing out on some of these Daytona shrimp. They are delicious. But it's a, that, that, that's a different <laughs> video. Um, we had a ton of t a ton of fun crabbing, and I really want to go back and do that again soon. And I would also recommend if you got some kids or something like that, super super fun thing. Something like that, like people are just gonna go <laughs> or, around collecting children. <laughs> I don't know, like a nephew okay, or a, a neighbor's there kid, okay. or you know. <laughs> something like that Got or a it. grandson okay that sounds better <laughs> take them crabbing because crabbing in that style with a string and a chicken because it it's a ton of fun for a kid but oh those shrimp are so good um, hey dogs we're trying to film a video every time every time the camera turns on and the dogs are like hey Hey, you want to hey. fight? <laughs> but all right so look at this dip. Try the dip looks amazing it does it smells amazing Oh no, oh, I knew that it. was gonna happen, so I had a spoon. <laughs> so, spoon, I'm gonna go with a new, new I'm going new chip okay. just for full effect. Don't, don't burn your mouth. I'm not gonna burn my mouth. Okay. All right, crab dip. Oh, that looks so hot. What, why do you doubt me? Okay, do it. <laughs> That's good. Like 10 out of 10, what would you rate it? I would say I put too much salt in it. Because that uh, that Jo's has salt in it, and I made it a little bit salty, I think, but it has really good flavor. Let me try it. I would just use regular Old Bay if I made it again. Oh no! What are you doing? Okay. It smells good. It's good. Yeah, it's definitely good. It's really good. It's rich is mm -hmm. what it is. Um, like a creamy. Yeah. Mm. That's worth it. For sure. Um, it's not too salty though. No. But I'm hard. I am my biggest food critic. You are. And I will always tell you when I think something is maybe off. I give it like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Well, and that's claw meat too. Imagine with lump. Mm, that's true. Anyways, guys, it's that time. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, I'm trying to read and respond to every single comment, um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, good luck on the contest. We'll see oh, you on the next one. The next video, right? Next, vi The next video, I will announce the winner. Yeah. So you got to watch that one too. And it might be about shrimping. <laughs>